Imagine orbiting Earth so fast you catch 16 sunrises in a single day. What does that feel like? Oh, you certainly don't want to be running out of gas. <laughs> Mom, I'm coming well, home you, early. Well, you 300 miles <laughs> above the Earth. If it's a mission where they're going to readjust the space station, they will do it with those rockets. And so everyone has to strap in when that happens. Right. You don't know. You've got to make sure. Do it really slowly. If you push on one side, it could break off exactly. or, or start you rotating in ways you don't want to. Just boost it back into an orbit that can serve its needs. Thrust is at half. <laughs> <laughs> so, the space station, the Hubble telescope, all the rockets where we've ever sent humans in orbit around Earth have been to low Earth orbit, okay. right? A variation on a 90 minute journey. And at 90 minutes, you see 16 sunrises and sunsets a day. Go back to the 1940s, oh. Arthur C. Clarke all realized that that might be where you put a satellite for communication. He correctly reasoned, park a satellite in the middle of the Atlantic, because otherwise the radio signals only go in straight lines and they would not reach Europe because Earth is round. Some of the earliest satellites launched, one of the more famous ones was called Telstar. Telstar. There was even a car model. So when you're on that orbit, you are basically geostationary, moving in space, but not relative to the surface of the Earth.